Idea is to go to Italian Trans Euro Trail. Travel with the bikes, sleep in nature or in the campings, in the tents. And I already planned to travel with my KTM, but I have one small problem. Because tent is quite big, I need to fix it somehow, but there is no points where I could fix it. So it looks like I'm gonna have to use my Ninja for this trip. But I need to prepare this bike for the trip. I need to swap the oil. Swap the fuel tank, because this one is a little bit too small for the trip. Also, it would be nice to wrap it just to match the bike. Put the numbers on. Need to swap the wheels to put the straight ones. Oh yeah, and put a little bit bigger exhaust just to be more quiet. Ooh, and don't forget the mirrors. And I think that's it, so... Here we're gonna put some uh, stuff, personal ones, a couple undies, couple socks, and gonna hit the road. Now it's time to pack the bike into van, because it's not very interesting to travel 2000 kilometers on a highway. I am already on the way. Uh, somewhere next to Warsaw. Today probably gonna hit a couple more hundred kilometers, gonna sleep in my van next to my bike. Let's go to Italy. Almost 11 o'clock at the local time, a little bit more than 1100 kilometers left. Gonna eat my hot dog and I'm gonna make my bed here. But still gonna ride a couple more hundred kilometers. When I'm gonna be tired, I'm gonna make a pit stop at uh, some fuel station and I'm gonna sleep in my van. Easy peasy. Eight in the morning. Uh, from this mark, you can see that I was sleeping very well. This was my hotel tonight. Now I'm uh, on the border of uh, Czech Republic, Czech. Uh, around 800 something kilometers left. Let's go. Quick update, I'm in the middle of the Austria, near one of the most beautiful McDonald's and around 500 kilometers left till the meeting point. Yeah, and I have to catch that one. Let's go. Another morning. Yesterday I came to Marco's house, my buddy's Marco's house, in the evening. Uh, I was here around 9, but I was still too tired and too lazy to make a small information video. Right now I need to unload my bike, prepare myself and hit the road. like a rock. I'm ready, bike is ready, Ignaz also ready. We just met in our meeting point, Taidi Kadore, and right now we're gonna hit the road. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah, we found that helipad. I think you can do some wheelies, but maybe we're gonna find a better place for that. Very first pit stop somewhere in the middle. Uh, after 100 kilometers. So far, so good. My ass feel okay. How about you, Ignis? I'm perfect too. Coffee break. Coffee break. Okay, let's hit the road. Also, we have some small company around us, but we are traveling only two of us. Let's continue our travel. A little bit of gravel and off-road, very nice. So we 
had a small pit stop because I lost my bag on this off-road somewhere it got loose but right now I fixed everything a little bit different and Ignas gave me extra net so it should help Both started with the full tanks, four cylinders versus one, so nine liters. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Off road pit stop. After re wrapping my stuff, it holds way better. Gravel, gravel, gravel. Stop. Yeah. Oh my god! Holy crap! <laughs> we just came to the Campeggio. Let's go to unload our stuff. So that's gonna be our sleeping spot. Do you have any data from today? Like how many kilometers we did? Yeah, so today we did 270 kilometers, 60. So the... this That's the road we drove. That's the road we have driven. Nice. And now... We are getting closer to Lake Garda, so I think tomorrow... Oh yeah, tomorrow we're going to be at uh, Yeah, tomorrow Garda. we will drive Definitely. around the Garda. Again, That's through epic. The, a lot of stones. I know I promised that it will be mostly tarmac, but... <laughs> yeah, I think today was around uh, maybe 60% uh, asphalt and 39% of gravel and 1% of snow. That was very, that was the most interesting part. Okay, so unload our tents, uh, unload our stuff, and let's go to grab at least one beer because we have bar here. Oh. And that's what you get when you drive Kawasaki, but you're dreaming about BMW. M3. <laughs> it is what it is. Morning is good. Only one thing that uh, kind of shitty weather and looks like rain is coming. We need to pack our stuff until we didn't get wet. Nice! Serious storm we have here. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Weather is already good enough to travel, so let's try. Small problem, I felt that my crash cage and engine mount is a little bit loose, so we came to local garage and just uh, borrowed a couple tools. I'm gonna fix it and I'm gonna continue our journey. <laughs> oh, shit. Because it's raining and I was not prepared for that, I have a cheap solution. 10 waterproof suits for 249. Ignis was prepared a little bit better. He has a professional one, a bit more expensive one. Ooh. Fancy one. Of course. <laughs> Breaking bed. 
<laughs> a rainy day and that's the end of the second day and that's the reason why I have my van here because it was rainy and I was not prepared and because on Sunday I need my van closer to Milan that's why I used this day to go back to the place where I started to Marco I pick up my van I took a shower and I catch up Ignas so tomorrow we hope it's gonna be a better day and tomorrow we're gonna continue our journey yep beginning of the third day it's quite shitty too Ignas already left with his bike because he has a rain suit and I'm traveling with my van because I don't have a rain suit but looks like afternoon is gonna be not rainy anymore I hope so looks like guard is awaiting me with a good good weather so that's how I'm warming my pants because it's still a little bit wet Ignis found me before I packed my stuff weather is absolutely amazing let's hit the road parked the bikes there and came here to watch the view it's so romantic <laughs> helipad Nice. <laughs> First crash. Small one, but fun one. They built this whole thing just to charge one Tesla. Yeah, save the environment, they say. Met some local ones. Just look at that. Nasty hooligans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, some scrapes. Nice. Remember when was the last time when I saw some quad bike in action? Oh. You see, it's normal every day. We go. We need to fill the insurance. No more gears. It's just suck. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Random. So Ignis just had a small crash over there. First time on asphalt, yeah? Or the second? Second time. It's Yep. What damage was made? Well, it's very good that I have a crash bar, so now I will need some repairs here. A knee hurts a little bit, but it's uh, all in one piece. The rest should be fine. Yeah, some small scratches, but all good. Let's continue our road. Too wet, but very happy kids. <laughs> this road is closed, actually, but it is what it is. Kids just found the snow, so we're gonna enjoy it a little bit.
Will it start to go higher? <laughs> okay, I think we made it. <laughs> That's the moments why I live for. Oh my god. Look at this view. And that's how off-road works. Yesterday we drove till very late night, so we thought it's not a very good idea to search for camping. We took a hotel, we were wet, so we dry out our old stuff. Right now we have very good weather and we're gonna continue our journey. Looks like someone needs some help, but we have ambulance, so all good. And boy, oh boy, look at the view. We found helipad and it's open. Let's do some magic here. <laughs> Just listen of that. That's it. That's the last last point of our trip. Komolik. Probably right now we're gonna find some kind of coffee shop. We're gonna drink one last cup of coffee, maybe some ice cream, and uh, Ignaz gonna go to Germany. Yep. Nurburgring. Nurburgring. Yeah. Ring freaks. And uh, I'm gonna go. No, I'm gonna stay here for one more week. Last point. And very first thing I want to do is to wash my bike. Way better. Everywhere you go, you're gonna find some stunt riders. So it's just extra stuff after trip to meet some local stunt riders. Pretty nice. <laughs> so, trip is officially over. I just came next to my van. Ignaz is already on the way to Germany. Uh, and for me, trip is not over. I'm gonna stay here in Italy and tomorrow another story. But, see you next time.